A very good morning to you on this lovely Wednesday morning. It's a little bit overcast here. Let me know how's the weather where you are. I love our little update here in the mornings. <laughs> that um, has the weather all across the UK and the world as well. So um, today we are going to be playing with these beautiful drop beads. And we're going to do somewhat a different technique, but I'm going to turn you down and show you. I haven't added actually a clasp on this one yet, so I'm probably going to have to go and grab one and add one on there. Doing something completely different, and um, it's how you link your hat pins together. I really loved playing with this one, with the chop shape. What's the great thing about it is that you can have it turned sort of the point a bit downwards and you can have the turn the point a bit upwards. I'm sure there's a better description than this description than the point a bit, but never mind. You know me. I'll I'll make words up all the time. So we're gonna have a go at um curling our hat pins, but it's curling in a way that how you interlock your hat pins together to form a beaded chain. And the bead's gonna sit somewhat like St. Petersburg stitch because it's like sort of they always sitting towards one side. But let me just turn you down. What's happening with this camera? Let's have a look. Um, let me just turn you down and I'm gonna show you how it's made. There we go. Very quickly. Mm. <laughs> it's not showing the table. There we go. So that there, there, there is our table. So um what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the head pins together to form a chain. And how we're linking them together, they're gonna sit on a little bit of angle all the way to the top. I really do love this technique and you can use all sorts of different beads with it, but I think they are beautiful uh, with the drop beads themselves because they, they just sit, they just sit right and just create this very beautiful look. I need to add a um, clasp on these. So um, we're gonna have a go at this one, but very quickly I'm gonna take you to the website because I think what Simon did, just come back here. Second, let me just get closed my windows and there's always windows pop up and you don't want them to pop up. They always pop up and your computer always asking like, oh, would you like to update this or would you like to update that? And I was like, no, I don't want to update it. I'm not, not right, not right now. So, um, but it always pop up and you don't want them to pop up. So I'm just going to pop to the website and I'm going to show you very quickly what we have in store. So, you know the drill by now, totallybeads.co.uk. You're going to go on and um, you're going to go into video tutorials, which is here at the top, or you can go to categories as well. And you're going to go into pin drop necklace for today. Now, what Simon did today is we put a couple of bundles together, and I know you lot like your bundles. So the glass drop beads bundle which i'm going to show you them in real life just in a second it's 30 pound for the 12 strings and we have crystal rondel two by three millimeter bundle because that's what's the one little rondels i put on the bottom of the the drops so what simon did if you add both of them to your basket you're only going to get charged for one and the offer is on there until sunday so do pay <laughs> do pay attention because actually he hasn't put it on there but if you put the drop bead bundle in your basket and your crystal bead bundle in your basket then you're only going to get charged 30 pounds so it's the fact that we buy the pearls and get the crystals free but make sure they both of them in your basket as well and then just edit pins because that's what we're going to be using today and we're going to be having a look at that one so buy one get on free on those one there is no code needed just add both of them into your basket and you're only going to be charged for one of them right let's come back to our table and i'm going to turn the light up here just a tiny bit there we go on here and we're gonna get started with the making so let me just show you the bundle first i'm going to pop these to the side so you get 12 different colors of these beautiful pearls, but don't just think about it, this project, because we can always 
like do other bits of pieces with it they are beautiful colors for example if you like your angels and the angel earrings or they they're perfect for the body if you like like you know just to make a necklace which has got um dangly down bits at the bottom bottom they perfect for those they perfect for linking by perfect for stringing they perfect for such a lot of different um technique so do grab it because if you if you buy this today you get all the crystal rondels for free because they and they were 30 pounds as well and what i did yesterday i went in the warehouse I popped in. I did. I did had my jab yesterday, but I popped in the warehouse afterwards, and I chosen the colors. So, and I'm just very quickly just want to put this out to show you that I have matched up the colors with what we have. Some of them are long, like they, they both of them are the same amount of length, but this one is not uh, knotted together at the end, and these ones are on a loop, so they're both going to be the same length. So what I did yesterday, I matched up the colors with the pearls. So that one's going to go with that one. That lovely gray is going to go with the blue. Oh no, the blue is going to go with the blue. That one was with the one next door. This one. This one is going to go with this. I have chosen this beautiful amethyst to go with the pink. That one's going to go there. This one's going with that one. I choosing like a lemony color to go with that beautiful ivory. We got the red to go with the red. We got the gold to go with the gold. And that one is to go with there, just like that. So I matched all the colors up for you. There, I, I, love, I really do love playing all that. That, that one goes with there. That one goes with, I think, that one. Sorry. <laughs> and that one goes with that one. That's it. Um, I really love adding colors together. And I'm going to zoom in on this one so you can really see it. And there we go. Just move them up a little bit. I really do love so all the colors are going to go together they, they're going to be perfect we can just see the sparkle there that's so so nice right very quickly want to say hello to you and um and then we're going to get started in the making morning leanne charlotte good morning gwen rachel saying morning it's sunshine with some clouds and breeze but all good in south yorkshire it's be pretty much overcast and i can see i'm just looking at the window it's a little bit windy here as well good morning mina victoria is Victoria saying Sandville is sunny? Good morning, Anne. Then it's got blue skies. Good morning, Francis. Isla, good morning. It's sunny today. We'll have to now lawn later. Have to mow the lawn later. Sorry. <laughs> I need a sip of my coffee. Where did I put it? <laughs> there it is. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning, Lucy. Lucy changed her profile picture. Bless her. I love, I love the eye. Um, good morning, Sheila. The slight breeze in Washington, TNW. Um, good morning, Bridget. Smuffy. <laughs> Smuffy saying, oops, was about to complain about sound. Then I realized my piece of sound was muted. <laughs> don't, don't confuse me with sounds even more because you know me. <laughs> I'm pretty much, I can be muted all the time and I, I wouldn't even realize it. Good morning, Lisa. Bethan, over, it's overcast where she is. Good morning, Seema, Sue, Patricia, Lorna, Thea, Mina. Oh, bundles, my eyes are closed, she's saying. Um, add the drop only. Oh, do not add both, sorry. Oh, like, you see, he's, he told me this morning, he texted me, he said to me, like, tell them to add both of them and... <laughs> You don't really need to add one. So can we just have a clarification, Simon, please, uh, if you're watching, that um, what do we need to do? Add the drop and then choose free crystal rondel option. Ah, it's inside the drop. So, oh, there we go. So um, I'm going to pop you over and show you this very, very quickly because like I think the, this was like a little bit of confusion between me and Simon. You know me, I'm not very good with websites. So I'm just going to go back one page. And what happens here? You go into the, the 
drop in drop necklace for today come on there we go and we're going to go into the glass drop bundle and here there is three crystals um times 12 zero pounds and if you add this on you to your order then that that's how you get the free crystal bundle on there so within your glass per bundle add the crystal bundle on there so you get it in your order that's it <laughs> there we go we got the redundant um hello charlotte mina janice I have got some of those left from a previous TV video now. Where did I put them? Oh, I know, Janice. That's safe place, isn't it? That's safe place. Um, I've got so many things in that safe place. I'm using value today. Just add the drops to get the crystals free. Good morning from Cape Town. Good morning, Alison. Um, good morning, um, Diane. Never have any money. Both bundles bought. Oh, bless you. Um, thank you. Like we all, you know, we we try to do all sorts of different things. But um, with with, the, with these pearls, you can use them for a lot of different things. Uh, good morning, Eileen, Sharon, Nietzsche, Nikki, Nikki, or Ni. Oh, I'm I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Do let me know how you say your name. Um, it sounds like a bit of like Italian. Um, name like Nietzsche. But is it probably is Nikki, isn't it? <laughs> do let me know. How, how do you say your name? Um, good morning, Patricia. Is she saying already in the bag? Oh, bless you. Good morning, Edward, Elaine, um, Jane, a beautiful Brighton. She's saying good morning, Debbie. Um, good morning, Chef. Um, Chef is saying, Simon, can you put a bundle of eye from me, please? I'll pick you up on Friday. Thank you. Um, Chef is one of our locals and um, we, we are not open to the public although we are got an open day coming up at the end of the month 31st of july so put that in your diary if you are anywhere near us then um do let us know and uh but do come no for you i need a sip of my coffee hold on if you live anywhere near our hq then do come along for the open day but what what chef was saying she will pick you up so we do allow people to come to the door they they can't come into the warehouse otherwise because we are a working warehouse but you can pick up your order so she's gonna come and pick you up on um friday right okay so let's get started what color shall we work with today do let me know um we got loads of loads of color charts here i do love i love the purple i love the blue i, I love i love all of them really so we could be working with any color any color we wish um i i have got i've done something a little bit with the blue and i have done a little bit with this color as well so let's go for something different a purple or lilac jane is saying oh what she's saying she just got hers so do 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 be quick i don't know how many how much how many bundles they have but in stock but um i, I think it's quite amazing so you get all the crystals free if you get the pearls i love this color as well Dark green, please. I already have got the dark green here, so we have I've already made something with, with, with this one up. So let's go for a different color. Um, light green. When we're saying light green, are we saying this one? Red. Diane is saying, yeah, we never really do anything in that. Purple or lilac. Like the purple. Oh, I love the purple as well. Lilac. Lilac. Purple. <laughs> this is saying, I don't mind what color. They are gorgeous. Light green, please. So we got a lot of people seeing this light green and the purple. So I'm going to take the rest of them away. I'm going to give, leave, leave these two here and we can play with perhaps both of them. So I'm just going to move them to the source. Now, you know what I'm going to ask nice. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask. I'm, I'm going to choose this one as well. So because findings do come, like these hat pins, they do come in all sorts of different colors. So you can really match your... Just move this. Oops here just a bit so it's sort of more in the middle for me so you could use hat pins in, on like your finding in all sorts of different colors and match it to your beads so because these are a little bit darker beads you got two choices here so either go with something darker or we can like a, a gold would be or a champagne gold would be look nice with the purple as well but the other thing what you can do is to like make the findings disappear so if i wanted the findings to disappear then like with that purple i would use like a dark finding let's just get this out of the bag because you will be able to see it better but if i want and i'll show you what's the difference just in a sec 
if I want if I want the findings to disappear then I will I would use the black and they won't show up very much but if I want them to stand out like they're standing out on this one then I will use something which is probably I could even use rose gold I could have this bit of purple I think it's and especially on the crystals and I'm going to bring this up especially the crystal can you see there's a tiny bit of gold tint on there just on the sides of the crystal so because of that I would either use rose gold um, gold gold <laughs> or the champagne gold with the purple to like really make it stand out um, I kind of fancy rose gold for that one and this one again I think I let's go with silver so we're going to use silver and rose gold but there's all sorts of different colors what you can use in terms of your hat pins right let me just put these black ones away i think rose gold will will look brill debbie is saying um hi gt gt is saying hi kitty and everyone jenny is saying copper or bronze i haven't got copper or bronze <laughs> i have got gold rose gold champagne gold i got silver i got rhodium color and black right okay Gwen again was saying purple please like you know, it's gorgeous with silver so, so i love colors like this because especially like that color you, i can add the silver next to it but equally i can add champagne gold next to it and it goes really nicely as well so sometimes like color combinations like depending on what you like these crystals they have got a sort of a silvery and gold shine to them as well so they have got both can you see like as i'm moving them that they got both of them on there well let, let's go with the silver silver if you if you if i pull this out let's have a look at this so if i put the silver next to it and um yeah we zoomed in all the way and i'm going to take this out of the bag can you see how the overall uh, hopefully the screen is going to show this so if i put the silver next to it can you see how what way it lifts the color and then i'm going to grab these this is the champagne gold and change the champagne put the champagne gold on the other side and you will see that it gives it will give a different tone to it so look at the champagne gold and our beads are still really a really nice color but it gives you a different tone and if i put the silver next to it can you see that the color i haven't changed the colors but the color lifts slightly and that's what really nice to like play around with all sorts of different findings as well as beads like i'm gonna move these out and we're gonna get started so a cap, cut the string down I changed, I was just saying, change my mind, green, please. We're going to go with this one. There is my bin. Right, so you're going to need a few pliers for this one. So you're going to need a round nose pliers. And um, you're going to need, you got, well, you're not really going to need your cutter all the way up. We might, um, because what we're going to try to do is to use most of the pins what we have there however we're going to have to cut the tip of the we're going to turn a couple of hat pins into eye pins at the beginning i can really saying i'm so late <laughs> you can really hear we're just starting you're not late at all so camille there is a bundle on the website there is 12 colors of these beautiful pearl drops and then if that's that's 30 pounds and if you do put that in your basket just you get you, you get the option to put the crystals there's 12 strands of crystals which is worth 30 pound again to get them for free if you get the pearls so do check the ad on the website um wondered where your was oh that that's uh, um that's just for couple yeah lucy changed her name to lucy locket as well um that's a lovely lucy who's always in the always in the chat i love lucy locket i you know i got a lucy and i do call my lucy lucy locket um also lucy lucy goosey lucy goosey moosey sometimes <laughs> but uh, i think such a lovely name lucy locket right so i'm just gonna add we're gonna start in the middle and we're gonna make just a droplet this is gonna be our 
or be kind of with this technique i think you need something to hook on to right into the middle so we're just gonna make i'm gonna make a wrapped loop on this one just to have a really strong base and i'm just gonna bring this one in just to drop it in from the top um, just to make a nice and strong base um what we can then hook either side of our either side of our beadwork curtain. now there's two ways and actually this is a um a good one as well you could either use your pearls with the fatter bottom downwards or you can use with the thinner bottom downwards i do like both it's really a sub to you right i'm um, let, let's let's use it with how shall we use it fatter bottom down or thinner bottom down do do let me know if i pop this one next door to it you can see what's the difference for me it doesn't really matter you just have your body on I think they both nicely. I kind of prefer the thinner bottom, <laughs> th thinner end down, not bottom, that's the top. So I kind of I prefer like the thinner one down because it looks like a little bit, little bit different. Like we always use them these way, this way. So fat to see the difference. Um, so, or, or we can have the thinner one. Fatter bottom down. Um, Elaine is saying, I just, um, Oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciate it. Um, why you try calling the champagne gold and see if the shed's the top code, Diane is saying. But, um, but is that for the... Um, is that for the pin, lovely? Do, do let me know. Fatter bottom down. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back down. And there we go. So I'm just going to create a loop on the top of this. So I want somewhat a large loop and I'm going to wrap the end around it. So it's going to be a nice and secure um, end on there. So I'm going to put this in my Rhinos plier. And I'm going to take it all the way down because I want the largest part of that plier itself to able to wrap around so I can hook in there. Well, you can make it smaller, but I quite like it larger at the, at the end there. So I'm just going to turn my wire around. Now this wire, this head pin is, is a little bit harder wire than when you're working with copper wires. So it's they are a little bit harder to sort of manipulate around. When we work with um, head pin balls, they are a softer gauge. These are a little bit harder gauge. So I usually make my wrap and then I readjust the top to be so it sits right quite nicely on the top there so we're going to wrap around we need a couple of millimeters at the bottom but um, I usually start with my hands just to sort of bend it in a 90 degree or even a little bit more and then I grab my other pair of pliers like a chain nose bring it around and start wrapping now there is two ways you can hold it you can either hold into in onto your and just like that and start wrapping. I kind of find it easier at this point, it, like because when you start wrapping, this end is gonna start to move about. I find it easier at this point to let the top go and I'm just gonna grab my flat nose pliers. There we go. And I'm gonna hold on to the all of the loop at the top. And if you do this, and then, excuse my flatness pliers, I know that they, they look a little bit, I need some new ones. And when you hold them to the top, can you see that the bottom is not going to move at all? It's got more of a, the wire is supported from both sides. So you can have a nicer and more even wrap there. So I'm going to go and wrap this around. Because we made a larger loop, if it's in the Y, then just hold on to it, pull the end out of the Y to get to your end because it's only going to go around a couple of times i can either cut the end bit off which you got like a large end bit there or i can go ahead and tuck the end bit in until it goes into the coil itself so all i'm doing is just pinching it together with my chain nose pliers until the end disappears there we go 
pull it around a little bit there we go and then end sort of disappears into the coil itself now if this loop is not sort of it's a little bit to the side because you made it out so this is why i don't worry about it it could be like that so i don't worry about where the loop is sitting until i actually wrap the loop and then i'm going to put my round nose pliers back into the loop and then straighten this up the where it needs to be sitting so it's going to be nice and round on the top of my bead so i think the head pins yeah we will have a have a go at those ones as well so from here we need to make the first component is going to have to hook onto this loop and then after that we're going to start to link them together let me just pull this one down so the first one we're just going to link it onto the loop there so we're going to have to turn our hat pins into our eye pins so i'm going to go ahead and grab my cutters there we go I'm going to grab my cutters and I'm just going to go ahead and snip off the end of my hat pin, just turning them into a pin. I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit more. There we go. And cut another one off as well. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and turn a little loop onto the bottom of this, which we're going to then hook into the loop on our little droplet so i'm just gonna go ahead i don't want a very big loop so i'm gonna come towards the front of my plier um and so i can't feel the end there if i'm rubbing along so I'm, i caught it quite just between my pliers and i'm gonna turn into a loop you can let it go you don't have to do the whole turning in one go and reposition yourself and turn it all the way around but at the moment we have got like a b <laughs> or a p or however you want to look at it um when we turn the end so i want to centralize this i'm gonna as we were turning we were turning it this way um with uh, one one handle of the plier inside the loop and the other one is towards the other edge so reposition your plier and I'm going to come to the other side. So I want to, and I'm only doing this with the tip of my plier. So I'm only holding it just the very, very tip. And one, one, apply, one side of the plier is inside the loop. The other, the other side is on the side, which is bending sort of away. And then I'm just going to flick my wrist back just like that or turn the, the wire itself. And it just turns into like a perfect little eye perfect little eye pin I don't understand that you are using hat pins rather than wire um I kind of like so I do use all sorts of different uh, materials and with wire you can you can use wire as well of course it's not a um it's like you know po probably I would use like a point six millimeter wire which would be good for the job as well however when you look at your stash at home and you got all sorts of different materials there is more than one way to get the same look and most of us will have had pins at home <laughs> or have had head pins before and um this is just one way to use them up. Of course, if we wanted to, we could have made a little component with, um, we, could have, we could have made hat pins out of wire as well by coiling at the bottom. But after, like, we definitely need a hat pin or have to make a hat pin out of wire for, for this section. And then we are doing a kind of like an eye pin for the first bead, but after that, every single bead is going to have to be like a hat pin like structure because that's how they interlock with each other. Uh, and Jenny's saying, okay, fair enough. And it's just as well the different ways you can use your stash up. So I'm going to add a crystal and a pearl on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the top. So this is like when you're doing your first bead and you kind of need to get the angles right because your necklace is going to go in a v-shape all the way up but your little loop at the bottom has to hook onto that loop so the loop is has to be um oh, what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> the little loop has to connect to it um in a 90 degree turn here so 
when we are want to do our next loop or where, where the next loop is going to go, that has to be on the side of this. So just bear in mind that you don't want to bend this the same way as your loop art. You want to bend it so it's in a 90 degree bend um, with your little loop at the bottom. So if I put it down on the table, I can't really see the loop and that will be hooked on there just right. So I, qu I quite like to do these projects like side by side when I'm doing it. And I'm going to go ahead, before I coil the top, I'm going to add this onto the necklace. So I'm going to lift that little eye pin. So I'm just going to lift the end towards me and this onto my necklace and then turn it back down and then I'm going to do the same to the other side as well so I'm just gonna turn I'm gonna hook this on and then just make sure that's nice and close so we got our first two element and from here you got a couple of options now I'd quite like to you could again trim your end down I'm just going to bring this in trim, trim this down and just have one loop going around I love the look and let me show you the other one probably shows up a little bit better because of the color I love that little wrapped around look as we're going up on the necklace because it just gives that little bit of an extra detail so if you want to trim your hat pin and just have a shorter loop that this is when you would sort of trim it and then go ahead if you are happy with the coiling then we're just going to coil this down so i'm going to go ahead again depending on how big you want to have your coils i kind of like them like a medium size so i would maybe not quite a centimeter in on my um on my pliers here I'm going to grab the end of my wire and then I'm going to start twisting and I'm twisting it away and as I'm coming around I want this end let me just bring this up so you can really see it can you see that when the end coming around I just want to twist this underneath so I'm holding on to the bead and the top of the wire as I'm twisting and I'm just going to keep go past my beginning and just keep twisting it around all the way just like that and we made a little coil on the top now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so if I've coiled one side sort of going outward this way then I'm going to do the same on the other side but the opposite way so again I'm coiling away I'm gonna you I think with this coiling the slower you do the better results you get and then we will have Two little beads sitting there and two little coils just the side of our bead now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my next pin I'm gonna add a crystal and then I'm gonna go through this coil I have created add the next bead on the top of it now here you don't really have to worry about like your 90 degrees or, or like how I'm gonna bend it because this this will be able to spin around so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm bend this down to 90 degrees so I got to my starting point and by that I secured the bead on there so this no longer can fall off I'm gonna get another pin I'm gonna pick up another crystal and then come to this side I do love doing this side by side so I always know I got the same amount and pull this up again I'm gonna bend this 90 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and curl these ones as well and then so on all the way up if you got any questions please let me know in the comments so I can make sure to answer it for you now but curling this you really need to find what's the right way for you like you know you could you could hold what's the right way for you to hold it because what you want like you're going to be curling it a lot and if, especially if you got any problems in your wrist this could be like with jump rings and with um, any sort of when you have to work with harder wire can be really hard on the wrist and on the fingers as well so do change your directions I always do change my direction as well and I do like to like if I was bending it one side this way the, uh, like clockwise then I'm the other side I'm going to bend it anti-clockwise just to 
really like you know give a break to my hand and not doing it all the time exactly the same bending it the same way I'm going to add more and more beads oh <laughs> Jen thank you so much for the stars really really appreciate it I'm just catching up with um with the comments from Lucy what she pasted in for me And um, Min is asking, are the pro jobs are the same as we had in the having bone earrings? Yes, they are. So you could make matching necklaces to go with the having bone earrings now. Absolutely. So, and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to curl one one way. I'm going to curl the other side the other way. And so on until I get all the way down on my, on my necklace. Remember to add the drops. When you add the drops to your basket, there is a little option at the bottom of the, the sort of underneath the picture, like where you can just tick the box and it, you, then you can have the crystals for free. Otherwise, the crystal bundle is £30 and the uh, pro bundle is £30, but Simon put you an offer until the end of the week that you can have them for free the crystals are free so buy one get one free here right i'm gonna go in there and add my next now you could try this with other shapes as well i kind of like to work with drop shapes because they just give that little bit of i don't really know what what we call that it's not asymmetric because you're going to end up with the same on both sides but it will be more of a I don't know, in an angle. <laughs> I just, I really do love it. There's so many different ways you can call it, connect these together. And, um, you know, that you could make them sit so many different ways with pins and uh, pearls. We could have like a jaggedy look as well. We could connect them that way. There's so many different things. But we normally, I guess, we don't really think about doing techniques like this because it sort of goes against our very own jewelry making nature that why would I want to do the loop on the side? Why, why is it like sort of gone over? Bethany is saying, I love this design. Calling is so therapeutic. I find bail making pliers the easiest because the calls are perfect every single time. So... Yep, that you could use bell making pliers as well. There, I I got some, um, and I'm show you. And I'm probably, I was looking to get some in. We we were talking about bell making pliers with Natalie the other day, so we will probably get some in. They are the same as a round nose plier, however, they don't taper, so they exactly they will be either two, three, four, five millimeter, six, hammer big you want them. Um, all the way down so they're going to be the same size they, they are great to use as well for all sorts of different not not just for this but all sorts of buyer work and i'm adding this onto the top and just bending it into 90 degrees and again i'm gonna go Sheila's saying I'm liking this something I really like it as well. It's a little bit different from like the norm what we would be doing. And you know me, I just like to sit there and play. And Simon said like, oh, uh, the other day to me, I got this bundle. What can we do with it? I was like, oh, I know exactly what we can do with it and how we can use it. Well, there's loads of different ways we could use it. So if we, have, if we made a chain necklace, we could just make little loops and add them to the bottom. We could do so many different things. But I think this one, they just sit like so nicely that um, all the way down, they just like sit on an angle. Now, troubleshooting, if you do, like you kind of need that 90 degree bend there so they will sit nicely with each other. But if you, they, they will naturally sort of spin around a little bit. But um, do go ahead. So if I show you from that way, can you see that's a kind of like a little bit bent to, towards me? So you can go ahead and just sort of straighten it up however you want it to sit. Um, if it's sitting like too much to the side, then you want more of a, a curve with it, then 
just bend the next one in. Let me just bend these out and woods a little bit. And then we're going to have more of a curve with the necklace. So now when I put down, can you see it curves around a little bit more? So you can shape it a little bit afterwards you made it. As you go along, let me just bend this side out as well. Now what I'm doing, I'm just sort of turning the two beads towards each other. That's it. There we go. I really, I really do, do love, 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 love playing with, with jewelry like this and love doing things. Now, in terms of clasp, what clasp you want to add to the top, you could do any clasp you like. It's really a sub to you. Um, for the very last link, I will leave the coil or, or just even just do a wrap loop on the top again and then join either a magnetic clasp or join a, um, Lobster clasp, toggle clasp, anything you like at the top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a couple more. And then is asking which were the herringbone earrings. So Lucy, if you have got the link, can you pop it in there? It was about a month ago, or maybe so, end of May, maybe. Um, Natalie was doing a wire wrapped. Um, earrings with herringbone style and, and in the kit you had some of these pearls and then you had some um, crystals as well in there and he made like 20 pairs of earrings or something like that like loads of them and you're just gonna go down and you're gonna keep coiling them Um, 4th of June, it was gems and I'm being, um, Ellie saying, I'll, I'm not sure if it was the 4th of June. I think it was, it was either a Friday or it was a Sunday. Let me have a, I can actually, oh, wrong mouse. If I look in a calendar, that will, will probably let me know, um. Hold on one sec and I can let you exactly know, unless if Lucy finds it quicker than I do. Um, so June, having born earrings, yes, it was a 4th of June, not July, it was a 4th of June. Oh yeah, and then um, Lucy put the link in there as well. So do you have a look at that one as well. The Ferris wheel pendant will look great on this, absolutely. So um, the Ferris, Ferris wheel pendant, what we did, we did it and actually I got this because I, I am working on it. I am updating it and we see what's going to come on the end of it. But we did this pendant that would look beautiful on it. You never know, hint, hint, there might be a kit coming soon. But I just need an extra 10 hours in each day to, to work on all these projects that I have. So have a little experiment with this, um, however you want to want to make this. Now I want to show you one more thing and I'm going to show them with you. With the, Let's do that with the purple beads. So just experiment with a different color here. Because there is a different Y, you can link these together as well. I haven't done, I haven't done this for ages, but that looks very same technique, but instead of turning the loops we're not going to turn the loops to the side we're going to keep them at the top and it will give you a different pattern so we said we're going to do the rose gold with this one so you could do another pattern as well rogue let me move those rogue crystals I just need a few of these. So, um, we don't want again. You would have a hat pin at the bottom. Then I'm not gonna go ahead and um, I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna start like wherever I would be starting this. Now here, I'm gonna just bend it maybe 45 degrees, and I'm gonna coil. I can. I'm actually gonna make a tiny bit bigger coil, and I'm gonna coil it down, and I'm gonna leave it on the top, or I could even cut it. But I'm going to leave it on the top just like that. And then I'm going to come ahead and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pick up a crystal. I'm going to go through that loop. 
but I created and add another one. And again, I'm going to go ahead, just do 45 degree and coil this down. Good morning, Christopher. Hi, I'm playing with some, I randomly went into a um, okay. game and I found some Hungarian people. Oh, wow, really? Did you say anything Hungarian to them? If you don't know, Christopher is on summer break now as well. So not long, we need to do all the beading and everything else. We need to entertain this little man as well. Yes. Off he goes. I'm using Google Translate. Oh, very good. Oh, bless him. He came down to tell me that um, he met some Hungarians in this game. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the next one. Add the crystal. Go to the loop I created. Add another pearl on the top. And I'm going to curl this one down as well. And I'm going to go and carry on, so on, until I get... I'm just going to sort of try to speed it up this a little bit until I get to the top. And you're going to have like this zigzag, zigzag chain with it. I love this one as well. So that this... The creation, the difference between this and the one I just showed you is turning or not turning the loop on the top. And let's add a couple more beads so we can, we have got a few to show there, but this one looks really good as well. Everybody's saying hi, Christopher, he's gone. See, he's so cute. Yeah, he's, uh, Lucy's saying, oh, see, he's so cute. Yes, he's so cute now, but... <laughs> <laughs> just uh, tell that to me in four weeks when we had them home for four weeks <laughs> tell that to me then uh, how cute he is but he's alright it's the first week of the summer holiday they're always the cutest because they can just sort of they don't even want to do anything with you they're just quite happy to be off of school and just you know play with friends and do things a bit things online and just kind of relax and just catch their breath and just just breed but um, when we come to the last couple of weeks of summer holidays when they get a little bit more bored then it gets a little bit harder but he's all right we, he, because he met some hungarians he's um he's got a friend who is um, a little boy who's who's hungarian well he, they live in england but his mom is hungarian and he speaks hungarian and whenever he comes around to play they have to like that it's it's so funny how they speak because half of it is Hungarian half of it is English <laughs> but um lovey I love him right okay so I added a few now and you can see how it's all gonna turn out going all the way to the top so you're gonna have this zigzag look with it so you could do this as well there is so many different things you can do with hat pins and the only difference between this and the one we just did where we are having them sort of more of a um, a curved shape well you, you don't have to you can be more straighter as well but um, having them sit that way is just the direction of the of that little coil what you did so there's a couple of ways how you can use these gorgeous pearls and don't forget on the offer you get the crystals free so i'm just gonna i'm gonna bring them back just for a kick because these pearls are good for so many different things if you like to make your angels they're good for the angel bodies they're good for like just drops and they're good for a lot of things so it's all it's all together as i grab I grab them up but if you buy the pearl bundle today do put the do check add the option which is just underneath in on the same page for the free crystals and you get those gorgeous two and a half by three and a half millimeter crystals uh, free with your bundle i just i love it i really do love um i love playing with bundles because perhaps like if i was and, and, and I say this all the time, so perhaps if I was choosing my own colors out of this bundle, I would have chosen these ones, and maybe that one, and that's it. And the rest of the colors, like, they're really nice colors, and I often find that I always go back to my safe options. But when I get a bundle, and I do get these colors in there as well, then I got no choice but to pay, play with those colors. And when I'm playing with those colors, I do find that I actually, I do really like those colors as well. And this lemon chiffon sort of buttermilk color, I think it's a such a nice summery color as well. But if it was if it wasn't a bundle, I probably wouldn't go for this color. But if I do get this color, then I know I will be making something with it. So 
bundles are so good to broaden your horizon with colors that um i think it's worth it and at the moment obviously it's buy one get one free so do go ahead and um take advantage of that because i don't know how much stock of the crystal he has so once once, once it's gone i guess um or by the end of the weekend he said that they probably will be the offer will be gone so and i did go and match up the crystals with the pearls so you're gonna have perfect perfect matches there and that's for the blue and i need some more dust for the, that that purple so they're gonna go together perfectly can you make some drop earrings absolutely you can make so many drop earrings with this one um what lengths are the pearls please so the pearls are 8 by 16 millimeter let me just grab my ruler and i can tell you i'm so rubbish converting millimeters into inches but like you can see that's 60 millimeter and if i turn it around then that will be two two thirds of an inch <laughs> almost like three quarters of an inch i guess Be between two thirds and a three quarters of an inch so that, that's that's how big they are and then that's and that's how just under half an inch how wide they are love the reds yeah absolutely love the reds too and but usually i would not be picking up reds but because if you when you get in a bundle you can do all sorts of different things with it and if you think about it, if you make jewelry for friends and family and especially if you make jewelry for sale you get a whole spectrum there because like if you got 10 friends i guarantee they're like gonna like different colors not everybody's gonna like these colors some people like camille just said they're gonna love the red or the gold or or the pink or any of the colors what um I'm thinking they would be great to make angels. It's absolutely that we have used them for angel bodies as well before. So they can be used for that as well. Just add a wing on the top and you're going to need like a larger crystal or a larger pearl for the head. But um, yeah, they would be great for angel bodies as well. Oh, Dawn is saying good morning. Dawn, we just about to finish lovely, but you can rewatch it after we we finished. You can go back and um, rewatch it from the beginning. Well, I'm going to come back to me. Right, as, has anybody got any question? Um, I mean, the same question. Could you get some to label monthly tutorial with year, please? Uh, monthly tutorial with year, please. So if you pop over to the website, let me just quickly show this to you, that there are there by... Hold on, let's move, move to the website. They are there by year as well so if you go into the video tutorials just like that and then you scroll down you can go into tutorials by date there we go and then there by may 2021 april 2021 march 2021 jewelry 2021 november 2020 all the way back last year so you can view it that way as well but if you can't find it there, then you can go into tutorials by kind and then you can look up like, for example, bracelets. If you know it was a bracelet, then go in and have a look at all the bracelets because they're going to be it's all the different techniques together, which were bracelets. Tutorials are in there going all the way back. There's loads of them. And look, how many bracelets did we do? Oh, my word. That's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of bracelets going all the way back. And I'm not even going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And then another way how you can see the videos is tutorials by technique and then it will be bead stringing beaded beads a brick stitch chain mail elastic and but let's just pop into elastic and then here will be all the tutorials what we've done in elastic so for example crocheting with elastic um it will be um loads of other things uh, loads of other things what we did on elastic as well like a river bracelet flower bracelet caroline rose bracelet they were all made with elastic um, so they will be in there as well. So I'm just going to pop back. So and you can you can find those tutorials any way you like, you know, loads, loads of different ways you can find the tutorials. Uh, yes, I think you can. So many tutorials. Yeah, absolutely. We got like over 300. I don't know. So, so, so many, too many. <laughs> Sometimes like I was thinking, I can't remember what I did like last week, not along last month or last year, but um, it's, I enjoyed like every single step day of it, every single tutorial I really do enjoy because I get to do 
what I love is to play with these gorgeous beads and not just this, like all sorts of gorgeous beads. I really do love it. Right, my lovelies, I'll be back on Friday vid. Where are we? Let me just quickly. Oh, yes. So I'll be back on Friday with the lovely Natalie. And um, she's going to be showing you. I'm, sure I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. She's going to be, well, gonna be, she's going to be showing you a really nice technique with wire, doing a very beautiful. Um, we're going to be doing earrings. You didn't hear that from me. They look really, really good. I've seen the pictures. They look fantastic. So do you have a um, do tune in on Friday at 10. Now, this weekend, we have got a creation station coming up. So a uh, Saturday night. So last time, or the, the trays over there, I can't show you. The theme is Dragonfly this month. And we've been, I've got, had some table cut Dragonfly beads in the bundle. I don't know actually if there's any. The bundles are still available on the website. They were... Um, what we use for the creation station, if you can let me just very quickly have a look. But creation station July, there we go. Yes, yes, they are in stock. Because I think at one point one of the things went out of stock, but um Simon started all the stock out, so they are back in stock. And let me just show you quickly. So on Saturday night from 7 p.m. I'm I'm just gonna bring you very quickly here. Saturday night, 7 p.m. We're gonna be it's in categories. We got a, a whole category called creation station for it. You come in there. That was June last month. Um then that's that's where the Ferris wheel came from. And then you can view it on here, or you get oh, so let me just um this is what we've been doing and there is the kit underneath it. What we're doing, there was two sessions for this one. So there are both of them on there. And for July, we gonna, this is the one we did a couple of weeks ago. And we like these are the gorgeous beads we were working with. They're just so, so beautiful. I just really love them. And the, they are they are back in stock now. So I don't know what happened, but um, we have got a limited stock of these, so I don't know how much is left now because we only got a certain amount of the stable cut beads, and once they're gone, they're gone. So this Saturday from 7 p.m., um, usually I say we play for a couple of hours, but let's face it, I'm always here until 10 p.m., but I do draw the line at 10 p.m. So for three hours, we're just going to sit there and we're going to beat. And if you have got your kit with you, which is the Creation Station kit with you, then we're going to beat together. And in the kit, you get so much. I'm just going to pop in here. Um, I know she hasn't got another picture on there, but you get so much in there. You get crystals. You you get those beautiful beads. Um then the, the dagger beads and all, all sorts of bits of pieces in there. This it's the, it's worth thirty pounds, but Simon at discount down to nineteen ninety nine for us. So do check on that as well. So that's will be this Saturday at seven p.m. That's a little bit more sort of relaxed. We're just sort of beading together, like you know, <laughs> but it's usually Simon and Christopher they watch a movie, and um, I sit here and bead. So that's on Saturday night. So do. Oh, Lucy just popped the link in. Um, do have a check that one out as well. So I'll, I can see you on Saturday night as well. Otherwise, have an amazing couple of days. And we will see you on Friday with Natalie. And take care, everybody. And I'll see you later. Bye.